support the ACLU. I'm here to support the ACLU. I am here to support the ACLU in this monumental undertaking. They to support the reproductive rights for women in the state of Georgia. Protect women's rights. Fighting for women's reproductive choice. Good afternoon. I'm Andrea Young, the executive director of the ACLU of Georgia. As you know, when Governor Kemp signed into law a bill violating women's constitutional rights in Georgia, we promised we would see him in court. Today, we filed a lawsuit challenging Georgia's ban on abortion, otherwise known as HB 481. We're asking the court to block HB 481 from going into effect before January 2020. This law is blatantly unconstitutional under 50 years of Supreme Court precedent, and every federal court to have heard a challenge to such a ban has struck it down. With the filing of this complaint, we want to remind the governor's office and the state legislature that you work for us, that your responsibility is to respond to the needs of your constituents and to be sensitive to the stories that they have to recognize their lived experiences and use that to inform the laws that you enact and that you uphold. This spring, Georgians came out in opposition to HB 481 like we have never seen before. Georgia politicians heard from us, they just didn't listen. And what we want you to hear from us today is that every day, our collective doors stay open so that you can access the quality, compassionate, non-judgmental health care that you deserve, and that includes access to safe and legal abortion. I'm here because reproductive justice is very important to me. I'm here today because I think every woman has the right to abortion. And it shouldn't be up to anyone else. I'm here because House Bill 41 directly infringes on the rights of American women to choose what they do with their body. My and mom is an OBGYN and I grew up knowing that this should be a fundamental right of all women. Well, no lawmaker or policymaker in the state has the right to decide what women do with their body. And it's a privacy issue that's protected by our Constitution. We have been fighting too long and we shouldn't keep having to fight for the same things. I think that HB 481 prevents women from making choices about their lives, their livelihoods, and that choice should be left to women and their families, not the government. Whenever Governor Kemp signed into law House Bill 481, he made a very clear message. He made it clear that he was not centering the needs of the most marginalized in the state. He made it clear that he was not committed to the principles of reproductive justice. He made it clear that he wasn't worried about all of the other numerous policy actions that we know that we need in this state. So we're making a clear message here today as well as a plaintiff in this case. We're making it clear that our organized resistance is what is going to win. We are making it clear that we know that Georgians didn't ask for this and that we are going to push forward for what we know is best for our state.